There are many, many stories of children coming to our doorsteps for care and really needing to have a physician recognize that they're in an unsafe situation. When I see a child or a family that's struggling, I know that they may be at a crossroads and we can make things different for them. The health care system is a vital player in the prevention, recognition, and response to child abuse and neglect. We created the Child Abuse Services and Prevention Program, which is also called CASP, designed for uh, providers to have a better idea of what to do when they suspect child maltreatment. We have CASP champions and their teams at every medical center. The champions have extra training, so they are a resource for their peers. CASP teams are made up of social workers, ED doctors, pediatricians, nurse practitioners. We have medical assistant, as well as a psychiatrist. We have the ability to support one another. A group of people who have come together for this passion work of preventing child abuse. CASP involves making sure that we at Kaiser Permanente have the systems in place to appropriately address child maltreatment. We have the e-consult, we are developing smart phrases and smart sets. We have the abuse and assault website for providers to guide them through the initial stages. With having an electronic medical record and being an integrated medical healthcare system, we're able to be sure that we don't lose any child through the cracks. If a child presents to the clinic or the emergency room, the physician can easily and rapidly access the history of diagnoses related to possible neglect and abuse. We have regular meetings with our CASP champions. In addition to supporting providers internally, their role is also about making community partnerships with CPS, with law enforcement, with their local child abuse prevention councils and other child advocacy groups. Having connections with schools, with organizations, family resource centers, other hospitals in the community is what creates an even bigger safety net or wraparound. So it's collective impact. Given what we know about adverse childhood experiences and the profound effects that it can have into adulthood, we have a responsibility to appropriately address children and families who are at risk of maltreatment. If we want everyone to have a healthy, happier life, we need to build resilience and control these adverse childhood experiences, and that's the basis of our child abuse work.